You see, before you, a handsome man all dressed up and a beautiful young woman. But I could look back in my memory and I see a little fuzzy-headed girl running throughout the sanctuary looking for a new adventure to tackle. And I'm sure your family could probably do the same thing. And here they are, all grown up, ready to tackle the world. To my best friend, I look back on the path we've taken to get to where we are today. From our first date, sitting in a hammock looking over the Chattahoochee River, the countless hours we have spent in the car, the many vacations and all the simple memories we have made taking on life together. Early on in our relationship, you warned me countless times about your crazy family but I must be looking past the craziness because all I see is the genuine love they show for one another. I've experienced firsthand how important my family has been throughout my life. And after today, I know we have all the support we could ever ask for from both of our families. I promise to grow with you spiritually and not lose sight of the Lord's plan for us. Proverbs 18.22 says, he who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. I consider you as my better half. There's no one else I'd rather walk through this journey with than you see. I've been blessed enough to be titled a great son, a great friend, and a great teammate. But I know being titled as your husband will be my favorite title. Thank you for taking me as I am, loving me, and welcoming me into your heart. You're my life, you're my love, and my only. I love you so much, Sierra. Jeffrey Daniel Ginn. The road to this very moment has been so tiring, <laughs> so stressful, and so endless. But we're finally here. I finally get to marry my very best friend <laughs> and the man of my dreams. When we started this relationship, Three and a half years ago, our biggest worries were game days, final exams, and when we would see each other next. I loved you then because of your sweetheart and the way your butt looked in baseball pants. <laughs> but today I love you for so much more. I know you're the one because I used to pray every day that God wouldn't let me into another relationship unless it was the man he intended to be my husband. And I'm so glad it's you. I'm so excited to be your wife for the rest of my days. Here's to making coffee with too much cinnamon. <laughs> to taking trips to every MLB stadium. To finally adopting a dog. To starting a family. To new experiences and new memories. To a lifetime of love with you, Jeffrey Ginn, my best friend, my life, my love, my only. And now, no longer two individuals, but now one. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Please, you've been waiting all day. Kiss your bride. you, I instantly knew you were the perfect one to take my place as her best friend. My place in protecting her and listening to her cry and encouraging her and loving her when she isn't so easy to love. And watching you do all of the above in the three years I've known you has given me such joy in knowing that she's safe and happy. One of the things that I can uh, think back and remember most about is uh, even before Jeff met Sierra, uh, he loved her. Like, he noticed Sierra, I guess, from the baseball field to the soccer field. 
and he was in love with her. Like, he was obsessed with her before he even knew her name, even. Uh, since day one, since pre-day one, uh, this kid's been dead set on Sierra. I can honestly say that you are my greatest friend, and I'm very proud of you. I don't know what I'd do without you. I have seen you grow into a woman who is smart and kind and so funny, no matter what Jeff says. Um, and you are just so unapologetically you. 